So today I'm coming at you with another shadow look. I'm gonna be dipping into my Morphe 35B palette. And of course the first thing I do is prime my lids with the Pro Concealer in the color Porcelain and just blend it out with my Small Beauty Blender. So now just taking the white and that blue from the palette and mixing them together, then applying it to my crease. So now taking a small dense brush and just using the blue color, not mixing it with the white and applying that a little lower than my crease but still kind of in my crease just so the blue's brighter. Then you'll see me doing this a lot, taking that fluffy brush from the beginning and just blending out the shadow all together just so it's more seamless so if you see me pick up a fluffy brush that's what i'm doing then after blending that i'm gonna go in with a dark shadow mix it in with the blue that i just used and apply it to my lid so now i'm taking the same brush and just using the dark blue and packing it on my lid and then blending it out with the fluffy brush. So here I kinda winged out my eyeshadow or at least tried to it ended up looking a mess, so do not recommend. Make <laughs> so before foundation, I just wiped the excess eyeshadow from under my eyes. And then I'm going to take the Fit Me of foundation. I don't know what finish it is. I think it was matte. And I just dot it on my face as usual. You know, I couldn't find my Fenty. And I actually do like this um, foundation. It's really nice. It was really full coverage. Pro Conceal in the color Fawn as usual and then blend it out with a mini beauty blender. Damn, look, I look like Mona Lisa right now. I look like her, huh? So here I'm just blending my shadow together one more time and cleaning it up on the sides just a little. Then it's time to set. At first I was using a brush and the Fit Me loose finishing powder. I don't know what color. I'm too lazy to check. But then change it to a sponge because uh, I felt like I was looking casket ready with using a brush. So after that I just put on a little blush and put my lashes on off camera. At first, I lined my waterline with white and I hated it, so I went in with black and then applied the dark shadow and the light blue shadow under my eyes. So to add a little shum shum to my inner corner, I go in with this blue highlighter shade in the Aurora palette, forgot the name, LOLs. And I go in in my inner corner, then I take this random highlighter I got from a beauty supply. It's like a white, like a white gold 
and put that on top of the blue highlight just to make it pop more and for our brow bone highlight I just used that white gold color last step is just to put mascara on my bottom lash line now to highlight I use my fan brush and like three different highlighters one is a gold one that I made second one is the white pearl and then I go in with Orion <laughs> I remember the name Orion is the blue highlighter from the Aurora palette I go in with that too after just because you know why the fuck not Now for lips, there isn't a time where I'm not using a brown lip liner, so you know, I end up changing my lips back to just using gloss because I hated the lipstick that I chose, it was like some fucking crackhead white, I don't know why I chose that shit. This is the finished look. I was very like skeptical on this because I feel like blue eyeshadow just doesn't suit me. But to me, it's pretty, it's pretty good. I look pretty good. And I added a little head wrap, no wigs. I didn't feel like wearing a wig today. Uh, throwing a little jean jacket, a little, little shoulder action. Or so yeah, this is Ooh. cute. Super blue. <laughs> um so yeah i hope you enjoyed you know like comment subscribe and all that and i'll see you in my next video <laughs> bye golden rubbers in these denim pockets on my waist there's a black glock new girl moved on the block she been plotting on my brown